Nigeria's home base Super Eagles have battled from a goal down to beat Angola and qualify for the semi-finals of the African Nations Championship in Morocco. Nigeria looked on the way out of the tournament. That's until Lobby starts forward Anthony Oporto equalized in injury time. Gabriel Okuchiku completed a comeback for the Eagles with the winning goal. And the coach is excited about the win but has his eyes on the semis. The match is the players. <laughs> you know the players, you need to suck them up, you need to keep the you need to make them to keep the belief, the confidence of what they are doing. So you don't need to rattle on the line. If you was there, I was never rattled. Because if you rattle, they will rattle too. And this they are the one doing the job inside. So you have to show them you are confident in, in, in their ability. And uh, they came back and I was, I was I was very happy. If you observe uh Angola qualified as a quarter final with only one goal. So it's not the matter of how many goals you score, it's a matter of you are not conceding and you can score one and qualify. I think that's the most important. Meanwhile, Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari has congratulated the home base Eagles for that stunning performance that saw them qualify for the last four of the African Nations Championship. Amidst this tight schedule at the African Union Summit in Addis Ababa, President Buhari will watch the match in his hotel room, also wish the team the best as they aim to qualify for the finals of that tournament. And tennis now, Roger Federer is targeting more Grand Slam titles. That's after winning his 20th major with a thrilling 6-2, 6-7, 6-3, 3-6, 6-1 victory over Marin Cilic in the Australian Open. 12 months on from beating Rafa Nadal in the pulsating five-set final, Roger once again drew his ingenuity to add to his legacy by winning a record equalizing sixth crown in Melbourne. At 36 years, Roger is the third man in the open era to win four or more Grand Slam after turning 30. I believe in myself. Um, I just got to keep a, uh, have a, keep a good schedule, uh, stay hungry, um, and then maybe good things can happen, you know. Then I don't think age is... A, a, an issue per se, you know, it's just uh, it's just a number. Um, but uh, you know, I I need to be very careful in my planning and uh, really decide before and what are my goals, what are my priorities, and I think that's what's going to dictate how successful I will be. In the Nigerian Professional Football League, the star match of the day between Rivers United and Iimba International has ended goalless. Stanley Dingba opened scoring for the People's Elephants in 45 minutes before Daniel Israel's equaliser ensured the share of the spoils in Port Harcourt River State. Elsewhere, Wiki Tourists beat FC Fahimba 1-0, Aqua United thumped Quara United 3-0, Lobby Stars defeated Niger Tornadoes 3-1, Heartland and Yobe start played one all. Casina beat Go Round FC 3 0, while the matches between Abia Warriors versus Sunshine Stars and El Kanemi against Canopillas ended goalless. In a new letter, to African leaders, the U.S. President Donald Trump says he deeply respects the people of Africa and that the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson will make an extended visit to the continent in March. The letter, which is addressed to the African leaders, offers Mr. Trump's deepest compliments as they gather for the 30th African Union Summit in Ethiopia. It also notes that the U.S. soldiers are fighting side by side against extremism on the continent and that the United States is working to increase free and fair trade with African countries. U.S. diplomats have scrambled for days to address shock and condemnation as reports hit the airwaves that Mr. Trump allegedly used foul language to describe the African continent. Residents in Kabul, the Afghan capital, are mourning the deaths of more than 100 people now known to have been killed in an attack on Saturday. The gunmen drove an ambulance past the police checkpoint to get to a crowded street in the district full of government buildings and embassies. Afghanistan's government has declared a day of mourning for today amidst funerals taking place while relatives search hospitals for their loved ones. 
The Taliban says it was behind the incident, the deadliest in the country for months, which is taking place weeks after an attack on the Kabul Hotel in which 22 people were killed. And the main news again. President Muhammadu Buhari has today asked African leaders to put up a common position in the fight against corruption. President Buhari was speaking at the opening of the 30th African Union Summit in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where he unveiled his plan to tackle corruption in the continent. Also today, President Muhammadu Buhari and former President Olusegun Obasanjo were the center of all eyes at the summit as the two men exchanged pleasantries in spite of the recent letter from Chief Obasanjo advising the president not to seek a second term in office. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinami.